beef fillet. Lean meat with little fine sinews of fat running through. It just melts in your mouth like butter. Seasoned. Hot pan, olive oil. Seal. Mustard. Think about it. Fillet of beef Wellington, English mustard. You're not going to put Dijon on there, are you? Mushrooms. Season. Blitz. Now, I've got to take the water out of the mushrooms. Look how wet they are. We don't put oil or butter into the pan. We put nothing in there. Look how much water's coming out now. Assemble. Cling film. Parma ham. Mushrooms. Beef. Centre. And roll. Twist it nice and tight. Chill. 20 minutes. Puff pastry. Beef. Unwrap. On to the pastry. Egg wash. Don't skimp on the egg wash now, because we really need it to stick. Tuck that in. Chill. Five minutes. Glaze. Score. Rock salt. Bake. The most important thing about a fillet of beef wellington, do not slice it thinly, OK? Turn it round and slice it about an inch thick. Beef wellington. Done. Shepherd's pie, a great British classic. Absolutely delicious. Mince, vegetables, potatoes. Easy. Olive oil. Minced lamb. A little bit of colour on the mince, and it gets rid of that unwanted fat. Nothing worse than a greasy shepherd's pie. Season. Great. Onion. Carrot. Garlic. Once the vegetables are grated in there, they disintegrate and almost puree, adding great flavour. And that's the secret behind a really good shepherd's pie. It's all in the mince. Worcester sauce. Tomato puree. Red wine. Thyme. Rosemary. Right, now the red wine's evaporated. Chicken stock in. And cook it out for three or four minutes. No more than that. Potatoes. Mash. Season. Egg yolks. Now, the secret ingredient, Parmesan cheese. Be quite generous with the parmesan, because that's what gets it really nice and golden brown. That now deserves to sit on top of my mince. Good old-fashioned tip, just to keep my mum happy. Fork at the top. 18 to 20 minutes in the oven. Beautiful. The crispy topping. You can see why that deserves to be a great British classic. Shepherd's pie, done. It's moist, it's tender, and it's absolutely delicious. Marinade, chilli powder, paprika, coriander seeds, star anise, crush, thyme, garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, mix. Pork chops, marinade, chill, hot pan, olive oil. Pork chops into the pan. Colour them both sides, tilt the pan and baste. Into the oven, 8 to 10 minutes, 200 degrees. Sweet potatoes, peel, chop. Chicken stock. Boil, drain, 
hot pan, olive oil, shallots, garlic, season. Lightly caramelize the shallots. That helps to sweeten the potatoes up even more. Sweet potatoes. Crush. Finish it with some fresh coriander and sage. Mix. What a delicious way of eating sweet potato. Pork chops out. Rest. Sweet and delicious classic. Spiced pork chops with crushed sweet potatoes. Done. Turkey, the one hit wonder. An um, absolutely amazing bird. Stuff, onion, orange, garlic, thyme and bay leaf. Season. Truffle butter. This little beauty helps to take the turkey to a different division. These cost 50 quid for that size. Yes, it's expensive, but boy, is it worth it. Don't chop the truffle too small because we want to taste and identify the truffle. Parsley. Tarragon. Salt. Touch of pepper. Tablespoon of olive oil. And that stops the butter from burning. Take your piping bag and fill it. Separate skin from meat. Piping bag in. Pipe butter. Massage. Salt. Pepper. Olive oil. Roast. Citrus breadcrumbs. Pancetta. Onion. Thyme. You don't need to do that good old chef's trick and pull down and just peel it off his lovely flowers. Pine nuts. Butter. Bread. Orange. Lemon. And as it starts browning, sprinkle your orange and lemon breadcrumbs. Lemon juice. There we go. Beautiful. Rest. Tin foil keeps it nice and warm and it cools down slowly so the breast become really nice and moist. Calm. What you can smell, of course, is that amazing truffle. Absolutely beautiful. Turkey with truffle butter and citrus breadcrumbs, done. Pheasant. The secret behind cooking this bird is actually lining the breast with some streaky bacon, because it really is a very lean bird with hardly any fat. Thai. Not too tight. A, it keeps the bacon on, and B, it actually keeps the bird in a really good shape. Hot pan, olive oil. Seasoned. Thyme. Pheasant, nice hot pan, streaky bacon, thyme, straight into the oven. Bread sauce. Thyme, salt, pepper, blitz, hot pan, butter, onion, on the heat, cloves, star anise, bay leaf, the big daddy, black pepper, pull in the china shop. This is the one that actually brings it all together. Sweat, milk. Let it infuse. Bring it to the boil slowly. Back to pheasant. Baste. That keeps the pheasant really nice and moist. Finish the sauce. Sieve. That milk is amazing. Bread crumbs in. Butter. Now we have a really nice, smooth, smart, sexy bread sauce. OK, pheasant. Rest. 15 minutes. And turn it upside down. And all the juices from the top of the carcass run into the bottom of the breast, and so by the time it's cooled down, it's full of flavour. And the whole leg 
just falls away. Delicious. Pleasant with bread sauce. Done. There's definitely no waste on a pig. This is a belly of pork. It's cheap and delicious. And look, it's got these wonderful layers of fat. It's packed with flavour. Score. Season. Olive oil. Garlic. Thyme. Season both sides and lay it on top of your garlic. Lifts the belly of pork off the tray and stops it from drying out. White wine. Tin foil. Hot oven, two hours. Look underneath there. Lovely. Gravy. Deglaze the tray with the white wine. Reduce. The smell off that is amazing. Because the garlic's been roasted slowly and it's got that really nice, sweet flavour to it. Chicken stock. Reduce. We just smell that gravy now. You know damn well it's going to taste magical. Sieve. Push all that garlic through there. That. It's fucking delicious. Pressed pork. Place another tray on top of that. Way down. And set it in the fridge. Chill, six hours. And look at that. I could take a slice and actually eat that cold. Cut. Then like little caramel slices, compact, full of flavour, and now ready for the oven. Hot oven, ten minutes. Look at those. Absolute beauties. And just look at the textures and that nice, crispy top. Rich, sumptuous, full of flavour and absolutely delicious. Press belly of pork, done. So it's a beef, one of my favourite cuts of all time, packed with flavour. Salt, pepper, hot pan, olive oil. Make sure you get a really nice colour on the steaks. Garlic, rosemary, thyme, bay leaf, chicken stock. The secret is to keep them nice and moist. Rest. Whilst the steak's absorbing the stock, I'm going to make the gremolata. Lemon zest, parsley, capers, season, mix. So packed with flavour. Beef, calves. Gremolata. Sauce. Olive oil. That has to be the most perfect way of eating a fillet steak. Fucking delicious. Pan roasted fillet of beef with gremolata. Done. Chicken. Perhaps the most popular bird in Britain. Remove legs. Wings. Parsons nose. Stuffed with garlic and salt. Poaching stock. Carrots, celery, leeks, pepper and coriander. Thyme, bay leaf. Poach, 12 minutes. Morel, mushroom sauce. If you can't find morels, use a dried sep or just a dried wild mushroom. Shallots. Salt, thyme, garlic. 100 grams dried morels. We get some flavour on there. I much prefer using dried mushrooms because it gives it a lot of intensity. White wine. Reduce. Remove chicken. Add stock. Hundred and fifty mils, double cream. And the secret behind this sauce, of course, is getting it to almost like a cafe au lait colour. Mm. We squeeze all that juice out of there. 
parsley. Into the sauce. OK. Remove chicken breast. Get your knife, point it on top of the wishbone, and go through it. Beautiful breast. Season. Hot pan. Olive oil. Skin side down first. Just really nice and crispy. Butter. Baste. Chicken with morel mushroom sauce. Done. Leg of lamb, the king of all joints. Sweet, tender, very rich and absolutely delicious. A must-have for every dining table. Get your butcher to bone it out and butterfly it, basically so you can tie it and roast it. Hot oven. Season. Olive oil. Mint. Use it in abundance. It's fresh, it's fragrant, smells amazing. Goat cheese. The mint perfumes the inside of the lamb, and the goat cheese just sort of makes the centre nice and creamy. Garlic. Roll. First of all, a big loop around the lamb. That keeps it all in shape. Get a nice length of string, tie a knot right at the very top underneath and leave it coming out here. The secret of tying it, this shape, helps to cook it evenly and look beautiful. Rosemary. Season. Gets the skin really nice and crispy. Olive oil. Stops the string from burning, so therefore it won't burst open when it's in the oven. And bingo. Roast. 35 minutes. Rest. Carve. Mint vinaigrette. That has confirmed it's definitely the king of roast. Roast leg of lamb with goat cheese and mint. Done. Loin of pork, rich, sumptuous. It's the most tender part of the pig. This is better when it's slightly pink. Yes, that's right, Granny, pink. First of all, you have to score that fat on the outside. You get some really nice, crispy crackling. Score. If you haven't got a sharp knife, I mean really sharp, use a Stanley knife. It works brilliantly. Stuff. Just slice into the centre and open it up. And look. Lemon zest. It gives it a really nice, summery, zesty lightness. Sage. Sage and pork go brilliantly well together. Parsley, garlic. Nice little thin shards. Salt, pepper. Olive oil. It's like a blanket of aroma. Fold it over, just like an envelope. Tie. Put the string in the pot to stop it from running around. Salt, pepper, olive oil. Mop it up. It smells amazing. It's not even cooked yet. Straight in. Hot oven, 45 minutes. Just the smell of that is amazing. Look, crispy crackling. Rest. Untie. Carve. Nice thick slices. That's what I like to hear, that noise, the crispy crackling. Tender and delicious. Fragrant lemon zest with the sage and the parsley. Extraordinary. Pork loin with lemon and sage, done.